Hello everyone, this is Chad from Knotted Leathers. I had the opportunity to create and make a uh, rifle sling, a, a padded rifle sling. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started into it. So right here, what you see is me starting out creating a template. So they have the old adage, it's called uh, measure twice, cut once. My dad used to tell me that all the time when we were building stuff as a kid out of wood. Um, so here I am going through two or three times, maybe even more, before I set it onto the leather, ensuring everything is at the proper distance. Everything is, is set up that when I begin cutting this out of the leather, mistakes are smaller. So here I am popping all the holes for where I want to have the adjustment on the sling. Here I am going through making sure that uh, the, the correct lettering is assigned to the, the rifle sling. And whenever you see my camera pop in and snap a photo, that's for me to send to the, the guy who ordered this from me so that he can choose and pick his own lettering. And then I can, you know, cut out that spot that it's going to sit, make sure it's all level. So here I am cutting out a uh, rough area of the lettering that, uh, that was chosen. And that's, that's pretty rough so that it gives me the, the correct leveling. That way when you put it on there, it's not canted one way or the other. It actually looks pretty nice and straight all the way down. Yeah, you see my bald head getting in the way there. See what I'm trying to do, mark it out get it all right just so you know bald is the new sexy just to say Here I am ready to set it out on the leather. So I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna find the best possible portion of it. Now what I did is I didn't really uh, measure out the, the the width of the leather. I just kind of took a strap cutter and I said, oh, it should be about three, three and a half inches. So that's what I cut. Now I need to finagle it on this piece 
draw it out and see me using that uh, skiving knife of mine to hold that pattern into place so that I can give it a rough outline before I cut it and begin the, the, the tooling, which is a Celtic knot tooling. I, th I thought that was a pretty good idea from uh, the individual who ordered it. Uh, it's right down my alley. I'm, I'm all into that Celtic stuff. And then the lettering is like a dragon-esque style. I uh, really like that style of, of numbering and lettering. So, you know, it all kind of really flowed and worked together. Pretty awesome like. Here I am marking out the lines for the actual tooling that's that's going to go on the leather itself for that Celtic knot border that comes around. Here is uh, in preparation for tooling after I've already uh, put the name down on there. And here I am going through, lining up, making sure my border stamp here that I, uh, the individual wanted. I'm setting that up, making sure I'm straight in line through my lines so that one, you don't see the lines and two, it, it follows a straight and narrow. The, the dyeing of it. Now this is a couple of, of layers of dye and then uh, we're gonna stitch it. And once I stitch it, I'm gonna take that, that hammer and I'm gonna tap down those stitch lines to the next portion and sand down and make sure that our edges are just spot on. And we're gonna sand them down to make them nice and, and, and smooth to begin with. Our edger is going to take that that hard line, that hard 90 to 90 degree um, angle there, and it's going to chop it down to something that's close to a, a round uh, edge. It's not quite round 100%. So, you know, once you, or well, once I get done uh, doing the initial smoothing of that surface, I'm going to take an, another set of uh, another sandpaper block, and I'm going to go back over it, kind of help round that out, so that when I when I get to that finished product of slicking that edge, it's going to come together a whole lot nicer. And you're going to get to see that here in just a second. Now I have an, a number of, of edge hand edge slickers. These were made for me. I had them made for me so that one, it fit my hand and two, I had more of a, a an opportunity to, to do it. But all of the ones that you see me using, they're all made out of Kokobolo. The one that you see sitting on the on the desk, I'll put the link to that video down, down in the description for you. Now what I'm doing is I'm wetting that edge. When that slicker goes to that wet edge, it kind of presses it down and compacts it. And then as it gets to, the, to that, that drier stage from the heat and the friction, it will begin to smooth and slick that leather. You know, it makes it nice to the touch. It makes it smooth. It gives it a, a nice edge. Um, all in all, any finished work for the most part should have a, a, a nice slicked edge.
or two at applying this oil. Uh, now I use Nice foot oil on this, but you know how I'm applying it because of my work surface and area is with a brush. I should have just went ahead and cut me a chunk of shearling or sheepskin and daubed that in there and did the whole thing all at once. Now it didn't affect this particular project. However, if it's bigger then you know, I've only got that little bit of room and I've only got that little bit of oil to, to daub into there. So having a, a, a larger piece cut from shirling or whatever uh, really helps take the amount of area that, that you can oil bigger. I decided that I wanted to have this more, you know, Celtic. So I, I fumbled around to see what concho that I had just on hand from, you know, a, a, another project. That, that I did for my father. And he likes the Celtic knots. It's part of the reason why in my logo, I have a, a, a flat Celtic knot running through there. You know, it's part of our heritage. So we, we tend to, to get all down with that Celtic stuff. Here I am popping the holes that I had marked earlier. You saw it on the pattern where I tapped it through to so that I could mark each hole, make sure that they were properly aligned. Here I am popping those holes into the leather. I want to thank everybody for getting to the end if you just skip to the end well it's good to see you here aside from that if you like what you see give me a thumbs up think about clicking that subscribe button you know what to do we'll see you on the next one